Therapy model, Rail Focus, 4PF, Asset Light Logistic Company in India. Friends, we are very to be associated with this unique Asset Light Logistic Company having legacy of more than 50 years. This company has been built brick by brick by ACE entrepreneurs Sri Rajendra Ji Shethiya and Sri Tanesh Shethiya. Before I move forward, let me introduce one stop complex logistic solution provider offering diverse range of value added services at different, different stages of value chain. Western carriers diverse multimodal logistic solution across 3PL, 4PL, supply chain, rail, road, courier, air freight, warehousing, project logistic, steel storage, etc. It has one of the marquee customer relationship across multiple sectors panning around metals, FMCG, pharmaceuticals, chemicals, engineering, oil and gas with which companies offering their services include Tata Steel, Hindalco, Jindal Stainless, JSW, Tata Consumer Products, Hindustan Unilever, uh, Balco, Vedanta, etc. Western Carriers India Limited serves customers with Pan India presence with more than 50 branches, 16 warehouses, 4 zonal offices spanning across 23 states of India. Key details of the IPO. The price band has been set as Rs 163 to Rs 172 per share. Total offer size corresponds to Rs 492 crores. Primary issuance is of 400 crores and secondary is of 92 crores. Market capitalization at upper end of price band is Rs 1754 crores. Investor categories, QIP portion will be 50% of the issue size which is roughly 246 crores, anchor portion being 148 crores and bean book QIP being 98 crores. HNI portion will be 75 crores, retail 172 crores. The timelines of issues are as follows. Anchor opening and closing on 12th of September 2024, issue opens on 13th of September, issue closes on 18th of September. Estimated listing date on and around 23rd of September. I will now invite Sri Rajesh. In the year 1972, after completion of engineering, I had two choices whether I should go and take up service or I should start a business of my own. I felt that in India, logistics has a lot of potential and this is a good line where I should step into. During that time, there were no 2PL, 3PL or 4PL concept. A logistic company was supposed to do only transport the materials from one place to other in two dedicated trucks. After entering into this, we found that customers are finding a lot of challenges, particularly in case of import and export, where various activities of customs, uh, you know, port, Transportation, transportation in bulk is a challenge. And we thought this is the area where we should specialize. Today, we are doing more than 6,000 containers a month for export, more than 3,000 containers in import. And we are the only company or among the few companies in the country who specialize in 4PL, where a customer has to do nothing, just give us the documents, and all other formalities are done by us be it transport, be it multi-mode, be it uh, warehousing, be it handling of the containers, be it packing of the containers, be it making them seaworthy and export oriented or whatever. So this expertise in particularly import, export, M you know, FMCG, where we are also doing, you know, turnkey things right from concept up to distribution is done by us and we can say that, you know, very proudly say that for very few of our customers like Hindustan Unilever Limited, we are even running a dedicated train. Even for a small vendors, we are running a train between Ahmedabad to Guwahati successfully and we are branching off in many, many activities and this is a company of the future who believe that next decade will be for the logistics. And we firmly believe that we are going to grow very nicely and we are going to do very well in this segment. Thanks, everyone. company, uh, the largest in our space. I will skip the part about.
about uh, the office segment, right? Largest, private, multimodal, rail focus, 4PL, asset like both of that. I want to simple So what is this? What is this 4PL concept? First, 1PL, hai, you know, we set it, uh, and I'll just keep it simple. 1PL, we set it, say, a truck from Bombay to JNPT. 2PL, you do some value add at JNPT. 3PL is where the customer gives you a supply chain to run. He mandates an entire route for you. He tells you what needs to be done, when it needs to be done. That's 3PL. 4PL, you are given a problem. You do the problem solving. You create the supply chain. You implement the supply chain. So that's what we do. We basically get into bed with our customers, try to understand their logistical problems, try to give a solution which adds value to them. Our main focus is in creating viable supply chain solutions for our customers' complex problems. We do the entire gamut of services ourselves. Uh, we don't do vendors and sub vendors. The full supply chain is run by us. From you know womb to two, from one end to the other, the whole supply chain is run by us. So the customer knows that he has me to fall back upon. There is no question of you know trying to find out who's answerable, it is how we replicate this. The entire cycle is done by us, so the customer knows that this is where the buck stops. Similarly, by combining a lot of jobs, we are able to create seamless positions. We don't create hindrances, so we are able to give that benefit to our customers, not only in terms of revenue saving, but also in terms of savings and efficiencies. We've been doing, uh, you know, exam work uh, uh, for decades now. We've been in this space for many decades. We've remained primarily asset light in the sense that the only assets that we get are the assets.